Time for countdown's number two story. Tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze tonight to Bradley Gellert of Apollo Beach, Florida, near Tampa. Just another tawdry case of spousal abuse, a man choking his wife. Fortunately, she got free before tragedy, and he's been arrested. Mr. Gellert, however, elevated the story to the level of the macabre by dint of what he was wearing. An I Heart My Marriage t-shirt. The shirt is a promotional item from a movie from last year, Fireproof, about a husband who has a spiritual awakening and tries to save his failing marriage. It was the box office hit in evangelical circles. The runner-up, the manatee, protesting as ever something he didn't quite hear correctly or maybe just doesn't understand. If we can't use the term war on terror, if we can't use the term enemy combatants, sounds to me like in many ways, even linguistically, we have literally, you know, surrendered. Sean, don't you remember what Billow said? Look, by all accounts, the Bush administration defeated al-Qaeda, all right? Al-Qaeda was marginalized and downgraded as a threat to the world. So we won the terror war. By all accounts, Sean. Don't you watch, Billow? No need to surrender if we already won. But our winner, and speaking of totally mixed messages, Boss Limbaugh, first he announced that AIG traders deserve their $165 million in bonuses. Today he went a little further. A lynch mob is expanding. The peasants with their pitchforks surrounding the corporate headquarters of AIG, demanding heads, death threats are pouring in, all this being ginned up by the Obama administration. Oh, really? The senator who invoked the rhetoric of suicide as a good solution at AIG was... Charles Grassley, not of the Obama administration, but of the Republican Party. And the man who offered this piece of hyperbole, I was going to recommend boiling in oil in Times Square, but look, because these are the people who invented these crazy credit default swaps that are leading to the whole disaster, that was Mort Kondracki, not of the Obama administration, but of fixed news. Or how about the guy who said this? I'm all in favor of keeping this heaping opprobrium. I would deny them the bonuses if possible. I would be for an exemplary hanging or two. Have it in Times Square. Invite Madame Dufarge. You borrow a guillotine from the French. We could have a party. If that's what it takes to maintain popular support, let's do it. That was Charles Krauthammer, also not of the Obama administration, but rather of ultra-conservative column infamy. So, Boss Limbaugh, when you describe the administration ginning up a lynch mob, the only thing that comes across as ginned up is you. Boss Limbaugh, today's worst... Person in the world!